that's the other big thing. For people who don't know, people might have heard when the Birds of Prey movie came out, but like one of the kind of random things is that like, oh, Harley Quinn was played on live in live action prior to Margot Robbie playing her. Uh, and it's um, weirdly, they made a pilot with Sherilyn Fenn playing her, Audrey Horn from Twin Peaks. Absolutely amazing. What the hell? I think they change actress. So I don't know if it's because um, there's, I swear there's like two, they did the, the, the pilot and then they had to redo it because they had to get rid of, they got rid of some music. I remember thinking that was really weird at the time. The um, a thousand, a hundred, a thousand miles, I think was in the original. And then they had to cut it. I could walk. A thousand miles, or whatever that is. <laughs> it's oh, even it's, the way you sang it. Like, I was so early two thousands. The way you sang it. Ah, oh, well. yeah. oh, it's so good. It's just everything about the two thousands that um, yeah. just a twenty-seven year old girl like me is gonna love. Uh, but the, 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 but yeah, the Cheryl and Fenn was dropped after an unaired pilot, uh, mm-hmm. pilot, and they brought in uh, Mia Sarah who people remember as like Ferris Bueller's girlfriend. Oh, you don't get rid yeah. of Cheryl and Fenn under any circumstances. Come on. Uh, and uh, the thing is, though, Mia Sarah, I've only watched that pilot and little bits of her, you know, throughout um, and like YouTube compilations, because I don't know if I could sit through the whole show. Quite <laughs> I don't right blame you, to be honest. <laughs> but the, thing, the first episode, she's played like a straight psychiatrist. It's actually very Hannibal-esque because mm. she's Huntress's psychiatrist and neither of them know, but they like they don't know who each other are. So they're, you know, much like Will Graham talking to Hannibal Lecter. And Hannibal kind of giving little illusions back to what's really going on. It is all kind of like Huntress is kind of talking about her superhero identity, but she can't quite say what's really going on and stuff. And Harley Quinn's also kind of like, well, you know, because she's also obviously a supervillain, but behind the scenes as well. I really and, like, uh, yeah, just delving into the whole intelligence of Harley Quinn as well, because there are multiple, again, multiple origins about whether or not she cheated her way to get that doctorate, or whether she actually earned it. But, mm. like, so many of Batman's villains are highly intelligent, but it's just kind of skipped over. Like, yeah. These guys are scientists and doctors. And, like, having, a like, the Joker and a, um, a psychiatrist, I mean, that is a terrifying duo when done correctly. Could you yeah. imagine, though, like, I mean, that's probably where Joker gets half of his brain blood-curdling <laughs> ideas. But Mia Sarah, though, like, she, she plays a very good straight like you know harleen quinzel but then when the you know the veil was revealed she doesn't go full on into the accent but she does do a kind of a more lucy lucy goosey quirky character who's very harley-esque and it's like this is actually a really good rendition of the character i'm gonna have um, to look this up put it in so the group. many other things that just just in that pilot though like it opens with friggin Oasis, oasis's stop crying your heart out <laughs> which is oh my god there's like it's so smallville but also not like there's a bit where they allude to meteor rocks. I'm like, is this a small little reference? And then they mention Supergirl. I was like, I guess not. But it, but they've also like, got the that young actor from um, uh, Breaking Bad. Who's the yeah Aaron, Aaron Paul yeah. Jesse? He's like he's he in the meets, pilot. Uh, yeah, he's Dinah Lance. But then he, like he invites her out to a, a nightclub, and then he's just doing it because he wants to take advantage of her. And then she's rescued by Huntress. And one of the most baffling things, Huntress doesn't have a mask on. Yeah. But for some reason, she hooks up with this detective guy who doesn't know that it's the same person. Even though it's, just, it's not even like a Clark Kent situation. It's like it's blatantly the same woman. She like, just there's doesn't. No difference. Yeah. She pretty much the only personality she has outside of her um, superhero persona is the fact that she works at a bar. So yeah. her school doesn't have any school photos. She always skipped them. So there's no trace of her. And I'm sure Barbara probably deleted a few things as well. So she's a bit like Batman in that sense. So she doesn't have, doesn't, she doesn't have a persona. She's just Huntress. Yeah. It gets so early 2000s in like the, yeah, she works in a bar. And it's because, you know, they want to have like a, a Buffy, the Vampire yeah. Slayer-esque, the, the bronze. Oh, they have a place they all go to hang out. And in Charm, they had P3, which was the bar that they owned. <laughs> so they could have a scene where you put in some music and you could be like, on this week's Birds of Prey, the song that featured was. <laughs> yeah. And the, uh, it's just like, yeah, it's, real, it's, just, it's hitting all the exact notes of all those shows <laughs> that you saw way back when Smallville again did the same thing of like, oh, they have a hangout to go to and there's always a live band playing in the background for some reason they to plug to, a single. And stuff. Mm, they tried to bring it across to Arrow as well with Verdant owning a <laughs> random bar where he hid his, his cave underneath. <laughs> I've just it's... realized we've been talking about this. We haven't introduced the minute. 
Oh my oh, god, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a good yeah. nerd chat over here. <laughs> hey, well, we always need bonus content.